York City makes me think of Ellis Island and the beautiful poem by Emma Lazarus, give me your poor, your hungry, your huddled masses yearning to break free. Frances Cabrini is the patron saint of immigrants. Now she initially wanted to go to China, but the Pope asked her to not go there and to go to America instead because there were so many Italian immigrants here that needed help. My name is Sherry Sprosti and I'm the director of liturgy for St. Francis Cabrini Shrine, New York City. Francesca Cabrini came up here in 1899 to this piece of land on the bluff above the Hudson River. She was looking for a site to start a Catholic school for girls, for daughters of Italian immigrants. This chapel was dedicated May 10th, 1960. And it is a resting place for her relic, her remains, her bones and they are sealed and placed beneath the altar with a life mask of her that is taken from archival photographs. All her life she had wanted to go to China. That was her dream. When she was a little girl she'd make paper boats and put little blue violet flowers and float them down the brook and watch and say, there go my missionaries to China. She got her order going. She started in Codonia, Italy. So finally when she had everything set, she went to see Pope Leo XIII. And she said, Holy Father, we're here, we're ready to go to China. And he said, not to the east, but to the west. At that time, because of the political unrest in Italy, there were approximately 50,000 Italian immigrants living in squalor on the Lower East Side and in Lower Manhattan. And they were the wave of immigrants that came after the Irish. They couldn't speak the language. They couldn't read and write. A lot of them were, were people who were farmers and they couldn't tell the doctor what was wrong when they, when they went to the hospital. Um, they were losing their faith because there weren't priests who spoke Italian. And sisters came and they took care of that. She founded 67 hospitals, orphanages, and schools. She's under five feet tall, she doesn't speak the language, but it was about her faith. She had a deep and abiding faith. She, her motto was from Philippians, I can do all things in him who strengthens me. And she truly lived that. She felt that if God gave her a job to do, God would figure out how to get it done, and she would just do the next thing. I think Cabrini is such an example of not knowing what exactly it is God needs us to do, but being open to that, because she wanted to minister to people, but she wasn't sure who needed it. She listened to authority, and her, her gifts were greatly used here in ministering to the immigrants. The beautiful thing about our country is that it's filled with people who come from all over the world and they have something to offer. Hard workers, people who want a better life for themselves, people who want to be a part of what makes our country so great. We call on the intercession of St. Francis Cabrini for all the people who are looking for a place in our great nation.